What is up guys, Kane here, and in this one, we finally have Bazaar. So I've been gone for a couple of days, it's the end of summer, I'm as well a little bit busy with work, but from the next few days, we're gonna start releasing quite a few videos. So, in this one, starting with the Bazaar, as you can see, I have actually played it to the full, I kind of went for the footprint because I wanted to be one of the cool kids because uh, like everyone else already had it and I didn't and I've actually got a ton of stuff in return that probably quite a few people might be incredibly pissed because of the luck so I have to kind of warn that if you uh, are at least a little bit jealous or uh, you know uh, don't really want to see some good stuff or people getting good stuff this might not be the video so first things first we have to go into the summoner circle so it was kind of changed and it became sort of pretty useful or pretty good in terms of the bazaar itself so we got the armament grout stuff in terms of one of the smaller rewards i think draconic was increased a little bit as well as well as we got cast iron as one of the i suppose middle tier rewards and also we have even the same grout stuffs in the top reward however i do believe that these um premium artifact materials also had been added or increased by at least twice from the way they were before not entirely sure but i think they did so I kind of chosen this and honestly I think I got this particular one like four times, five times. I'm, I'm, I kind of forgot already because it was like 3 a.m. And this is a bizarre, I don't really want to record myself while playing it. But this was like 2% chance and I kind of procced it I think four or five times. So that was pretty good. I nearly made one artifact from plus zero to plus five. I think I'm more than uh, halfway from four to five star already. So yeah, that was probably over a thousand two hundred, a thousand three hundred premium artifact materials that I got for free just for playing it. And I mean, sure you can buy them for money, and I'd say one six star or rather. Yeah, one five star premium artifact is actually like what 50 bucks, but I kind of you know, um, double down on even spending on the game, I just do subscriptions or stuff like that. So, getting stuff like this is actually a pretty huge increase in terms of the account. So, that aside, the redeem rewards I went for the Iron Man stuff again uh, and as well then i went for plus four uh runes because i do believe the cost was reduced by like double i think the amount i'm not entirely sure and then i went for prisms and i didn't get anything out of the prisms i mean you could go for draconic dust i think if you don't require prisms but i kind of require the rare prisms quite a lot so this was kind of a, a decent choice for me as well as some chances for true prisms. So now we have the Lantern Festival uh, on its own. So we get some rewards for acquiring stuff, uh, draconic, rushes, new materials, armory stuff. Then we go on to the 30 and we start getting a decent amount of stuff. We go on to 60, we even get more. 90, we get a ton of sapphires and to like break through level 30 you require like 55,000 so these ones are actually quite welcome and of course this was a supreme dragon egg which is also one of the more important rewards in terms of this particular ranking the 120 stuff really don't like even look good or even close to good as say the rank 90 reward did now prior to uh, going into the shop i'm actually gonna show you the supreme dragon egg now again as i said uh if uh you don't like people getting good stuff be aware that this is my first supreme dragon egg and i actually managed to get hero predation 
as well as insert one, two, three, four, five skills in seven times. So I think twice they landed on one of the basic abilities. So I got the dragon, the first dragon, it got hero predation, and then I inserted seven abilities, and it did not knock the hero predation off. That is the kind of luck that I've actually had in this particular uh, bazaar, which is incredible luck if you would ask me. And this one, I'm gonna probably talk in another video, compare the other dragons, but this turned from, I think, 20-25% to 40%, which further will be increased by, I guess, the command, which is a pretty decent amount in terms of just doing damage to enemy heroes. Of course, two abilities are purple, but it costs 10 Supreme um, Dragon X to upgrade one. And at the current point in time, I don't really want to invest that much just to upgrade those two abilities. I mean, the cost is actually insane. So we're going to probably wait half a year, well, not half a year, maybe a couple of months, maybe three months until they will become more uh, easily obtainable. So, because I got uh, a good dragon, I didn't actually need to RNG my luck in getting this particular one. I mean, if I got a crab dragon, likely I would have tried for the other ones, but I think a non-ex dragon is fine for me uh, for what I do. It kind of buys time, it has some additional buffs, I will try different formations, so I didn't really need to test out for more stuff. So... In terms of the shop, let's go from the first two lines. So the first one is a crown of gods. Now, this costs 75 lanterns, but this looks like a, a well, not a plum, something like a flower, maybe. It's not really a lantern. It costs 75 of them. Now, the stuff that you would actually acquire from spending this is so, so, so minimal. That it's, it's crazy, for, for like, how much it costs, and what it provides is just in, insane, like, different, to the point that people would screw themselves over if they would select this particular reward. I mean, whales, krakens, maybe sure, because they already had purchased majority of, like, the other stuff, in terms of packs or whatever, but this one just gives almost nothing. So... Let's go on to the uh, say reliquary and let's touch on the matter. So I still have not unlocked it. Basically, you will unlock this, right? You get those 90 shards or whatever. You get 60 quintessence, 60 for a divine one. And you unlock it, you get 1%. And I do believe you're going to level this to level 10 and then you will require another one. Now, I'm not sure whether or not you will require uh, shards for the first breakthrough or not, but essentially this will turn to maybe 15% troop attack, maybe 20, and that value is so, so friggin' minimal that if you would just invest in other stuff, you're going to easily make it with just a fraction of the amount of these lanterns. Like, if you would purchase, say, even 10 of these and you would upgrade the cosmic batch feature like one time you're already gonna get a ton more attack than actually like getting this thing so in some circumstances it's actually not pretty good to get this so you should be aware i mean in some others if you had spent a ton of money already on the game maybe that like the decision is there if you require other stuff but this is one of those you know Places where you could actually make a pretty huge mistake in most of the circumstances. So cosmic badges are pretty much welcome. This is a new feature. Sapphires, new feature. You, it takes a ton of these materials to break through. Then I needed a ton of fine steel. I went for a full fine steel. Armaments were upgrading a ton of those uh, armory sets. And the, say, uh, armament stones are lower level than we actually managed to make or get. So, since they removed the armament stones from Lucky Wheel, we have to start acquiring them from other places as well. 
and with this and i think th th like these things um i think i got like 500 maybe 600 of them and i think i even selected a few from the boxes because i had like a ton of level twos uh, in my slots and now majority of them are level three four and i think some even five from long time ago and then i actually doubled down on uh nearly maxing out the cast irons as well and that is pretty much the five steps that i focused which are the two new features now in terms of others you have the prism experience which is pretty good or looks pretty good in terms of acquiring it relic boxes like i always said if you are on a very early server this could actually help you out a ton and boost your like field, your army, your troops, your dragon a ton of acquiring this stuff early game. But you have to also think about whether or not it will actually do, whether it will boost you quickly, whether you have materials to spare and stuff like that. In some circumstances, um, this could be actually valuable. In other circumstances, like a few things could actually mess you over. So this is one of the things you have to check in terms of your own account. And I suppose make that decision based on yourself. Now, in terms of the Covenant, I mean, it does provide a ton of stuff. But honestly, these new features, they actually win out a ton of stuff. Like the Covenant doesn't seem that it's giving out a ton. I mean, if we compare custom utility boxes, I think the rewards are actually pretty similar in terms of the armory materials that you're able to get and the Covenant stuff. But generally, most people have one full divine and archers are slowly going towards divine so you don't really need to focus too much on covenants um, from now i suppose i mean you can but personally i would just go for new features the stuff they provide are a lot and i do mean a lot better and after that we have even smaller rewards like most things that we can acquire from different places so the only other options out of like the last four lines that I could suggest is probably the Divine Spirit Stone. If you have those new pets and you really need a few stones to actually make them four or five star, this could actually be better. And then of course you have the Epic um, Artifact Materials, which also could actually be pretty good. But with the new addition of events and other stuff i think the value in terms of these boxes kind of dropped off i mean i'm not really sure but with the summoner circle and other stuff you're already almost like getting a full five star uh, artifact from zero just by playing that so this could potentially make you like one and a half ways in in terms of doing so i'm not entirely sure but I think this is pretty pretty low on the list in terms of bizarre selections but those selections are there so aside from that we got the big spender rewards which are also a ton of draconic uh, prism uh, well not prisms rather the rune stones some potential some experience but a ton of peers which if you're actually playing you likely will have to max out the entire 34,000 lunari I think while you're playing Summoner Circle, you fill it out completely with like 32,500, and then you're gonna have to spend a thousand, like 500 somewhere else to finish it, because these are actually pretty friggin' important in buying out the entire bazaar. So, aside from that, this was actually pretty good. Uh, I did a ton of increases. I think I got like 300 thousand core power and then about 60 70 thousand core power from kingdom guardian so the past couple of days were actually pretty huge increases so yeah this this bazaar actually became pretty pretty good now whether or not people should play it um honestly I i'm always gonna say it if you have more than half of the stuff of your account uh, requires like true prisms like greater dragon abilities all that kind of stuff this is actually a pretty decent event to play if you don't have them you have to keep in mind that majority of the stuff that you are going to acquire right here 
are just the basic materials that you can get by playing the game and what i mean by basic materials is you get all of this stuff in smaller quantities from events you get them from even daily logins not the supreme egg in particular but pretty much you get them on a daily basis and some events so the only reason you would want to play this if you think that if going for this will actually boost you up in pvp you're gonna win more stuff uh, in terms of lunari in terms of events imperiums all that kind of stuff and in terms of events also winning lunari boxes all that kind of stuff so if they're not going to help you and your account is new and you don't even have greater abilities well we're gonna have to think about where they will uh, actually put the greater dragon abilities now but essentially i wouldn't really deem this worth playing because again these are just the basic materials so if you do have the other stuff this is actually pretty awesome if you don't like the decision is there for you to decide but essentially in that one particular case i would actually say this is not that good but yeah that's pretty much it for the video do let me know in the comments down below what you think do let me know in the comments down below if i actually made you angry if like with that particular dragon luck because my god this bazaar with that dragon is just so crazy rng luck that my god like i'm actually pretty happy spending like 30k lunari on that particular event but yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy it do hit that subscribe button it would help me out a lot if you would wish to support me more than just watching my videos i have made a patreon page where you would be able to do just that and in return i would be able to help you out more individually in terms of pvp events formations and stuff like that as well as i would like to thank all of my patrons for the support i really really appreciate it for your subscriptions thank you guys so much thanks for watching take care and stay safe out there